Hi. <laughs> Hello. I've been waiting to film this video for a very long time and I am so excited and also a little bit nervous. If you've never watched one of my videos before, hello, hi, welcome. My name is Jenna. I'm a 23 year old photographer from Nashville, Tennessee, and I am publishing a poetry collection. <laughs> I've been working on this poetry collection since spring of 2017 and now, two years later, I'm finally done editing it. It has taken me about 12 months of editing, but I did the thing. It is getting close. Um, right now I'm deep in the formatting aspect and it is looking good, folks, looking good. But I figured since I am far enough along in the process, now would be a wonderful time to finally get to give you some information. I have talked about this a lot on social media. So if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or any of the others, you may or may not know what this is about. Um, but if you have no idea, you've not seen any information, haven't even watched my last video where I talked about it, we are talking about my poetry collection, Water Runs Red. Water Runs Red is a super personal poetry collection. It is one based on personal experience. Um, and it's basically just like the story of my life. So if you know me or you don't know me, you will know me pretty well by the end of this. Really quick, I'm gonna read you the official summary from Goodreads. Uh, you can add it on Goodreads if you haven't already. I would highly recommend it because it helps me, I think. I, I don't really know. How are you supposed to be a self-published author? I'm not sure. <clears throat> In a world of tyrant rulers and the misunderstood witches who oppose them, this narrative poetry collection explores ruined friendships, self-discovery, and the ever-raging battle between good and evil. Dun dun dun. Really quick, I'm gonna break that down for you. First things first, let's talk about the ruined friendships. The whole idea behind this collection when I started writing it, when I wanted to write a poetry collection was I wanted to talk about bad blood, specifically between female friendships. I have had a couple of different relationships that have just fallen apart uh, because of bad blood and grudges and jealousy and like various things. And so I really wanted to write about my experience with friendship. I want this collection to be different from any book on the market. That was one of the things that I thought about when I started writing it. So um, there is no romance in this book, at least not for me. There is some romance mentioned in the background, but uh, there's no romance for me, the main character. But it is all about three friendships that affected me growing up. Another third of the book is about self-discovery. Uh, so <laughs> me, um, it's kind of about my journey growing up from being a young child to uh, who I am today. And it focuses on some of the different parts of my life that I've struggled with, some of the parts of my life that I really love. It does have a content warning in the front, so if that's something you need, definitely be sure to check that out. Um, but in the area of self-discovery, a lot of the things I'll be talking about are self-image, like body positivity or negativity, depending on when in the book, asexuality, religion. I also talk a little bit about depression and mental health and just like all sorts of different things. It's all about me basically. And then finally, the third part of the book is about those misunderstood witches and the tyrant rulers who oppose them. Like I said, battle of good versus evil. It's really a story of light versus dark. Um, it's God versus the devil, tyrants versus witches, me versus my mind, like just like so many different things. Um, I wanted this book to have a lot of themes. I want it to be something that you can reread and find something new in every single time. I pulled out a lot of different threads to make sure things connect and that things are like running parallel to each other. Um, I have a lot of clues about things that happen later on in the book. I have a lot of things in the later part of the book that connect to the beginning. Um, I have so many references just like, so many pop culture references. If you know anything about me and my brand, you will definitely be able to find some Easter eggs in there. I worked really, really hard to make it something that's just like deep, that is filled with things to find. This is something I spent so much time on. I have been editing it for 12 months and I am super proud of it. I will say if the real world is a trigger for you at this point in time, the political climate, uh, the geographical climate, just like all the things, um, I would say, go into it cautiously. There is hope in this book, but I do know for some people it is going to be too much and there is just like a lot happening because it's a fantasy narrative. Uh, so I kind of dramatized everything and hyperbolized things and it's not 100% accurate, but almost all of it is based in truth and in real life experiences. So proceed with caution, but also know that I wrote it to be like a source of hope and something that you can go to whenever you want to escape or when you want to feel like you're doing something. Like I, I want it to be something that you go back to to find you. So I gave you a title, I gave you a summary. Now comes the most important part, 
the cover. Part of the reason why I love this book so much is because I did everything. Not completely everything, um, there's like a couple elements to the book that I got help from some of my friends with, um, but I basically did everything. I'm doing the formatting, I created the cover, I wrote it, so it's me. I made this book basically. The lettering and the font on the cover are not mine, I did not do them, they are done by my wonderful friend Margo. Um, you can check out her in the description below, uh, but she's a really fantastic graphic designer. She does a lot of things um, and I love her so much. So um, without further ado, the cover of Water Runs Red. <laughs> Look at it. It's so pretty. Yeah, so that that's it. That's, that's like I said, I made it. <laughs> um, I had the concept behind it. It is my photo of the water in the background. It is my bathtub. <laughs> there is a back cover that I'm not going to show you, but it is kind of similar in some ways. The front cover is really a teller of what the inside will look like. Um, yeah. If you can see, I do have a blurb on the front. I have a lot of really cool blurbs for this book, so I'm super excited about that. Um, but the main blurb on the cover is from my wonderful and Amanda. She is the author of The Princess Saves Herself in this one. If you've read it, it, it's super amazing. Amanda is honestly like the number one reason that I wrote this book because she convinced me that I could write it. She helped me beta read it. She gave me a blurb. Like she has just been the person I went to with all of my concerns and I am just so thankful for her. And now onto the release date. So I'm really nervous about the release date. I do not know if I'm actually going to hit it on time because everything from here on out is dependent on me and how fast I can format this book. And you may be like, Jenna, it shouldn't take you that long. Uh, when you see it, you will understand. Uh, it's going to take me a long time. So I'm hoping I can get it done at this time. But if not, there's a chance I might have to move the book release date back. We'll see. I'll keep you posted on that. Let's not worry about it. The goal at this point um, is to have it released on March 5th, 2019, which is my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. But it is also the release date of Amanda's new book, The Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one. And I wanted to have my book come out about the same time as her book because I do actually have a poem coming out in her book. So I figure it would probably be smart to market it that you could, you know, get both. So that's, that's a whole nother thing. But March 5th, 2019, this spring, like three months away. What? That is when we're hoping to have it up. It should be up for pre-order. I don't really know. If it's not, you can add it on Goodreads and I will keep you posted um, about when it is going up for pre-order. I, I have no idea how to be a self-published author. I'm not sure how to do anything. I'm really just hoping for the best at this point. Yeah, so it's gonna be released on Amazon. Um, it might be on other platforms too. I'm not really sure how this works, but you can definitely get it in ebook and paperback format. So if you're a person who likes the printed word, you can get that. You can also get the ebook. Um, I think there's a deal. If you buy the paperback version, you can also get the ebook for a lower price. Um, so I would definitely look into that. I'm so excited. <laughs> All I've been thinking about for the past like two months has been this poetry book. And I'm so, so, so excited to finally get to talk about it with you guys. Um, it's so important to me. It's literally just like my life's work. It feels like my magnum opus at this point. Um, so hopefully you like it. And if not, that's cool too, I guess. But I don't really have any goals for it. I don't know if it'll ever get traditionally published. I don't really care. Um, I just, I know I had to make this book for myself and it's been a passion project of mine for the past year. And I'm just like really, really proud of it. If you have any questions about it, uh, let me know in the comments. I may or may not make a Q and A video. I'm not really sure. I'd love to answer any of the questions that you have and I'd love to talk about it. Add it on Goodreads, pre-order it, if slash when it's up for pre-order. I don't know when that's happening, um, but I am super excited. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you aren't subscribed to me, that's cool too. Thank you for following me on other platforms. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for caring. So many of you are so passionate about this collection and you haven't even read it yet. And I'm, that just makes my heart so happy. All of it has led to this, <laughs> it feels like. The past like 23 years have led to this book. So I'm very excited and I'm, I'm rambling now, but I'm, I'm promising to stop, so. Thank you and um, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>